Hi everyone, Jacob here from Initiative Tabletop again, and I want to talk to you about a new game today called Sunrise City, where the sky's the limit. Sunrise City is a game for two to four players, takes about 60 minutes, and it's designed by Clever Mojo Games. It's a pretty interesting game that you're going to build cities from the ground up, so let's take a look at it. So this is the basic setup for Sunrise City. We have a community center tile, which is differentiated by yellow backing from the other zone tiles. We have building tiles. Each building tile has a building on it, as you can see. In the corners you have your primary scoring, and then your secondary scoring, and then also the color. The color also fits along with the zones. We have the scoreboard, the points, which these are what you need to win the game, our trackers for the scoreboard right here, bidding chips of each color, and our zone card. You also have the roll cards here. Each player will be given a hand of four cards to choose from. They will pick one, put it, the rest of them face down, and pass it to the next player who will then pick one from that, and so on and so forth, until each player has three rolls. This is a scene from the game in progress. Right now we're in the zoning phase where each player takes tiles like these and lays them out according to locations available. Waterways stop, uh, you have walkways that have to connect. So as you place them, you look at the color. Like, for example, you see how I just placed two purple ones here? This creates a district. Any of the colors that you match and connect creates a district with each adjacent tile up, down, left, or right. And for each one that you connect, you gain a point. This continues until all players have laid all their tiles. Once that's done, the game continues into the next phase, which is the bidding phase. In the bidding phase, each player then takes a look at what the property is available, undeveloped property, mind you. You can't have any buildings on it in the bid phase. And they will take a tile, or a tile, a token, and set it on there. Each player can choose whichever one they want to bid on. However, you cannot place bid tiles on community tiles. And this goes until each player has put down all the tokens that they want. Once a place has two of the same color, it becomes locked and therefore cannot be bid on again. The next phase after the bidding phase is known as the building phase. In the building phase, players will place down building tiles all over the board. The way this works is wherever you had a bidding chip on, you can place one. You have to have at least one bid chip to be able to place it on there, and it has to match the colors, either by purple being wild, or by having the same color like green and blue. When you go to place a tile, you choose an area. So let's say that the red player is placing this one. It has a blue and a green area, and there happens to be a blue and a green area right here. So they set it down and they score it. When you score it, the player that sets it will score the primary points, which is in the center, so they'll gain six points. And they will gain another two because they put it where they had their bidding chip. This causes them to go across the star. Whenever you go across this star, you gain one point, or one star. However, they also place this on the blue, which gives the blue person four points and makes them land on the star. If you land on the star, you gain two stars. This will continue for three rounds, and then at the end of the game, whoever has the most stars wins. And that is Sunrise City. As you can see, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, there is a lot of stuff in this box. This box is a heavy box. The components are really well made. Uh, the artwork is pretty neat. It's got a nice retro feel for it. It's one that I like it. It took a couple tries, a couple playthroughs to get everything down. Once I got it down and you get the strategies going, this game really starts to shine. 
it's one that I'm going to gladly keep on my shelf. So thanks for checking out this video, and may the dice roll in your favor.